Well, hello and welcome to uh, this exercise on volume of sphere and volume of cone uh, suggested to me by one of my subscribers and I'm sure this is well, probably from a past exam paper. Okay, and uh, it says uh, a hemispherical ball. Now, I, I think the, the, the word hemispherical implies that it is uh, half of a sphere. Okay, right, moving on. Uh, it says a hemispherical ball has a radius of, that shouldn't be there, by the way, I should repeat there, has a radius of five centimeters. Now, oil fills one fifth of the volume of the bowl. The oil is poured into a hollow cone. You know, the height of the oil in the cone is 10 centimeters. Okay. So that would be 10 centimeters as, as this would be 10 as shown there. Okay, just taking it in and uh, find R. So we're looking for this R there. Okay, find R which would give us the, uh, the radius of the surface of the oil in the cone. So we're looking for R there. Okay, now hopefully you you should remember or they probably give it to you that the volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cubed where r is the radius now in this case r is 5 okay now because a ball we're told is only half of a sphere so the volume of this ball is going to be one half of 4 over 3 by r cubed so this is the volume of the full of the uh, full sphere and we, we multiply that by half now this five this five here is the radius of the ball or radius of the sphere itself okay right now we know that or we are told that the volume of the oil in the bowl is only one fifth of the volume of the bowl itself. So now we need to multiply the volume of the bowl by one fifth there, this one here. Okay? So now that should give us the volume of the oil itself. Now, instead of fighting pi r cubed, I've written pi times five times five times five. So there are three fives there. Now, this five here should cancel one of these fives there. So, and that's what you've got. That five will cancel that five there. Now, so we have this five, five times five is 25. Okay, now this two, if you divide this four there, so if you divide two by two, you get one. And if you divide four by two, you should get two, hopefully. So what we then have is we've got five times five, which is 25, 25 times two, should give us 50 and we still got this uh, pi there we still got this pi there we still got this 3 there so we then have 50 pi divided by 3 so we have 50 pi divided by 3 that is the volume of the oil now this oil is then poured into this cone there so the volume should still be the same now to find that we need to find that we need to understand or we need to know or you'll be told that the volume of a cone is 1 over 3 pi r squared times h now we're looking for the value of r there or we can write it as 1 times pi times 10 over 3 okay so that this volume there should be the same as this volume there all of that okay so now we have uh, 
this here. That one times pi times 10 divided by 3 r cubed, uh, sorry, r squared. Don't forget this 10 is the height of the oil in the cone itself. This 10 here. Right, okay. And moving on. So we have 1 times pi times 10 divided by 3, r squared is equal to 50 over 3. Now, if you multiply both sides by 3, the 3s will cancel out. Okay? Then if we divide, if we divide both sides by pi, the pi's will cancel out. So we then have that this 10 times r squared is equal to 50. So 10 r squared is equal to 50. If we then divide both sides by 10, we end up with r squared is equal to 5. If we then take the square root of both sides, the square root of r squared is r, the square root of 5 is root 5. Now you can leave your answer as root 5 because that's, that is an accurate answer. And furthermore, you're not asked to give your answer to any uh, number of decimal places so that's that's, sil that's silent on that one there so if you leave your answer as root 5 that should be ac acceptable but you can use your calculator to find the square root of root 5 which is about 2.2 2.23 about that anyway and I, I do hope all that made some sense and uh, please please subscribe or donate and um, please watch some of my other videos Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.